Thousands of residents in Yuba City and Marysville evacuated after they were given the order on Sunday. And now we're learning that while they were evacuated, some thieves moved in. Police in Yuba City and Marysville are now reporting a number of burglaries, but one in particular is standing out. A Vietnam veteran whose numerous medals and honors, including Purple Hearts, were taken. Kelly Ryan is live in Yuba City with the latest for us. Kelly? Well, that's right. Both Yuba City and Marysville are reporting about the same number of crimes during that two day evacuation between 7 and 10. But one is really standing out. Many in the community are hoping to catch the thieves and bring back those medals and honors to the man who earned them for his service and bravery in Vietnam. They uh, took some irreplaceable stuff. Things Mike Pomeroy hadn't looked at in 50 years. He tucked away the honors and the memories of that difficult time, like so many soldiers did after Vietnam. They're not good to anybody but me. Items that can never be replaced. Uh, they took a soldier's medal with uh, valor awards. They took uh, Purple Hearts. They took. Uh, uh, air metal. Pomeroy and his wife Gaylene evacuated Sunday like thousands of others in Yuba City and Marysville after reports the Oroville Dam spillway would fail. It was done within uh, hours after we left. Thieves broke a window stealing the medals out of a briefcase upstairs. Three gold pocket watches, pearls and countless other items. I just want the irreplaceable stuff. The theft is not only a huge loss but has brought up some emotionally tough memories. Add to that since it's been so long he's not even sure what exactly is missing in that case. Got to itemize and we haven't uh, been emotionally set to go up there and uh, pick out where all the empty spots are and say well what was in that spot and what are you missing here and what are you missing there. It, uh, you just don't know. Now, Yuba City hasn't made any arrests, but Marysville Police tells me they've, they've made uh, one arrest and they were able to get items back and give it to the owner. Uh, that was in one case, and Mike Pomeroy, well, he's hoping he can be just as lucky. And let's yeah, so. we do too. I mean, stealing a purple heart from a veteran, I mean, that's just yeah. disgusting. It really is. That's awful. All right, thank you, Kelly.